embarrassing. There'll never be no comparison. You're live on the show. Sit back and have a listen. BC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. All right, folks. Let me tell you do some. I'm, I'm going to tell you do some right now, okay? Manny Pacquiao and Bob Barham, they at it again. They're at it again. <laughs> so first, Manny Pacquiao, he's saying his shoulder is 100% healed. Oh, yeah. Yep. That uh, that salt water uh, treatment they, they get uh, from my daddy, uh, Bob Adam. Yeah, we know that your shoulder is healed. Your shoulder been healed, right? You always had a healed shoulder, okay? I, I mean, come on, man. Manny Pacquiao is crazy. But, you know, they can't keep Floyd Mayweather's name out their mouth. Basically, Manny Pacquiao said again, hey, you know, my shoulder is 100% healed. And, you know, yep. So when Floyd, you know, decides to come back and fight me, uh, I'll be victorious. <laughs> ah! So, Manny, so now what we can say is that you can honestly own up to that you lost the first fight. Because remember now, Manny believed that he won the first fight. See, do y'all understand that the lies with this guy, they just don't stop, okay? The lies with this guy just don't stop. The lies that he tell just don't stop, okay? Because after that fight, oh, he was adamant that he won the fight. Oh, yeah, he said, I, uh... I, uh, up the, up the, up the, up the, up the, I won the fight. That, that's what he said. So now, you know, he said his shoulder's 100% and he can win this fight. So you, you're you admitting that you lost the last fight, Manny. But it's not only that, man. Manny Pacquiao is pretty much irrelevant. Like, literally, man, this dude is irrelevant right now. And you know what, man? What does he need to do to keep his name relevant? Of course, of course, of course. You know, you, you got to use Floyd Mayweather name, okay? You got to use old ball-headed Floyd name. <laughs> I'll tell you, man. And then Bob Arum, pretty much, man, I, I, this is kind of funny, man, because Bob Arum, when Manny Pacquiao tell a lie, Bob Arum kind of takes the initiative and cleans up the lie. I like it because I think Bob Arum's still a little salty that Man Manny Pacquiao ducked Terrence Crawford, I mean, but that's subject for another video. But Bob Arum says, well, only Floyd Mayweather knows when Floyd Mayweather will come back. Okay, if y'all know that, then why in the hell do y'all keep bringing it up? You keep bringing it up like you guys are dictating the terms of a rematch. Y'all don't dictate nothing, man. Look, man, Floyd determined who he gonna fight, when he gonna fight him. Floyd determined the referees. Floyd determined the ring size. Floyd determined the glove size. Floyd determined your purse. Hell, yeah. Floyd, de Floyd determined what kind of toilet paper you use. Floyd determined, you know, what kind of condom you use. I mean, Floyd Mayweather determined everything, y'all. And that's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. And these guys, Bob Arum, they can't, ain't nothing you can do about it. I mean, really, what is Bob Arum and Manny Pacquiao going to do about this? Nothing. They can't do nothing. <laughs> yeah, y'all can talk, come back, and rematch, and all this other hot mess, man. The same thing going to happen. This will be a born fight, okay? Uh, crystal clean bean head Floyd Mayweather will go 12 rounds. Hit throw a jab, lead right hand. So, hit, shot to the, uh, lance and blow to the solar plexus. Grab him. Work him on the inside a little bit. Circle back to the center of the ring, okay? Uh, he'll do, what do you call that? Dang it. Oh, oh, he'll do a pull counter. He'll lean in. Then, you know, Manny Pacquiao throw a lazy jab. Floyd Mayweather hit him with a pull counter. Then Florida hold him. And then Florida back up to the ropes. Manny Pacquiao get a few shots off. Then Floyd Mayweather will catch him with a counter. Roll back out to the center of the, uh, of the ring. Y'all know what'll happen. This fight'll be as boring as the first fight. I mean, look, man. <coughs> <coughs> oh, gosh, fanboys in the area, I'm coughing. Really, with this fight being what it is, I tell you. I probably won't even watch it. I, I won't even stream it. I won't do nothing, man. I wouldn't even report about it. Because that's just how uninterested in this fight that I am, man. That, that's how interested, uninterested that I am in this fight. And honestly, y'all, I think us, now I'm going to speak for the LDBC, man. I, I don't, nobody, man, don't buy this fight. If, this, if they pronounce this BS again, don't buy this fight. Matter of fact, don't buy it. Ah, you know what, maybe, maybe I would stream it. But don't put no money in Floyd Mayweather's pocket, man. Don't put no more in his pocket. Don't put no more money in Manny Pacquiao's pocket, man. These two guys, 
they they need to go on and quit, man. Uh, they, they just need to go on and retire, man. Stay gone. Floyd, don't come back. Manny, go ahead and retire, man. I just go ahead and retire. You're irrelevant. You're irrelevant. And and I'll be glad when the day that really and truly, well, you know what? Floyd Mayweather probably will stay relevant in boxing because he's doing stuff. He promoting fighters. I mean, still making his little bit of money and doing making his ends meet. But, man, I'm not excited about this fight. I'm really not. Because either one of these two, I, I could care much for him. I, and I've never been a big Floyd Mayweather fan on this channel. I really hadn't. <laughs> I, I've never been a Floyd Mayweather fan, not like that. You know, I can acknowledge that the man, you know, is a good defensive wizard. You know, I, I can acknowledge these things. I can acknowledge that he is a good skilled technician in the, in, the, in, the, in the ring. You know, I'm about to say octagon. I'm getting so much excitement in uh, MMA that uh, talking about these two, you know, you got to have to wonder, man. But anyway, man, yeah, man. So, Bob Barham, you know, Floyd is in control of everything. These guys don't control nothing. Manny Pacquiao just be talking. Bob Arum getting tired of cleaning up Manny Pacquiao lies, and that, that's just how it is. I got an idea, Manny. Why don't you fight Terrence Crawford? Why don't you get in the ring with Terrence Crawford? Hey, Floyd, I got an idea. Why don't you get in the ring with Errol Spence Jr.? Yeah, I would love to see that fight. I would like to see Manny versus Terrence Crawford and Floyd Mayweather Jr. versus Errol Spence Jr. Or, you know what? I actually want to see Mayweather versus Thurman. I want to see that fight. Anyway, you guys tell me what you think. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. Subscribe. <laughs>